On this episode of Lingkod Bayan Diaries, ating tunghayan ang kwento ng isa sa ating mga honor awardees. I think uh, having this award it inspires and motivates us further to work hard, to strive harder. And more than that, I think is uh, the challenge that we have to face to also inspire others. My name is Mira Sol Domingo and I mainly handle the Technical Support Services Division. So that is um, under ng supervision ko ay ang laboratory operations, uh, innovation center. So that includes the food processing innovation center project, scholarship, disaster risk reduction and management, at iba pa. I am Cheryl Napoco and I am recently promoted from a senior to a supervising science research specialist. As a food technologist by profession, I am designated as the project leader of the Food Processing Innovation Center of Davao. I am Dorothy Joy Mejos Candilas, a laboratory analyst and also under the microbiology laboratory as well as the shelf life testing laboratory. I am also the alternate project coordinator of the Food Processing Innovation Center, Davao. I'm uh, Engineer Fred Lisa. I'm the Chief Science Research Specialist of the Metals Industry Research and Development Center. But currently, I'm the Chief of the Materials and uh, Process Research Division. And I'm also the Program Leader of the Advanced uh, Manufacturing Center. Uh, for the Food Processing Innovation Center of Davao, uh, one remarkable you know, accomplishment of the project is the development of the operations manual. This is already a copyrighted operations manual and we share this operations manual to other regional offices uh, which uh, paved the way you know, for the harmonization and operationalization of 17 regional food innovation centers established by DOST all over the country. And also, we were able to establish good manufacturing practices and hazard analysis critical control point compliant food processing facility. So this recent no, FPIC Davao facility has been the benchmark of other micro, small, and medium enterprises who are into food processing business and whose facilities will also be applied for the FBA LTO license to operate. Then another accomplishment is that we, we deploy the Pentahelic Approach Collaboration for Development. Through this Pentahelic Approach for Development, there is an efficient use of meager resources for product development and innovation. Also, through this Pentahelic Approach as well, uh, we were able to maximize the use of different programs from these collaborators. We actually engage the five major sectors as our partners, the academe, the government, the industry, the civil society organization or the CSO, and the media. So through this collaboration, we were able to help the micro, small, and medium enterprises accelerate their competitiveness and uh, productivity in terms of product development and innovation. With FPIC Davao, we were able to help uh, increase the economic activity in the region and as well as the innovativeness and creativity among our MSMEs and uh, especially the students also because FPIC Davao caters uh, student interns in the region. We get to impart our knowledge, food safety, to our food business industry. Most of our stakeholders are startups and MSMEs, so it is good to be imparting with them the right way of doing things according to our regulatory bodies. One thing also that gives joy to us is that when we were nominated, we also give pride to the organizations that we represent because this is a national award and most especially when we were identified to be among the regional winners. To be nominated in this prestigious CEC Pag-asa Award is something that we believe that has affirmed our passion, our dedication to perform our duties towards the achievement of our goals and objectives for the organization and most especially our goal towards creating a profound impact to our stakeholders, especially the industry.
Being a public servant is a privilege and opportunity because it's a great opportunity for all of us to take a share of building the change that we want to see in the community. And my message to our co-government employees and the rest who are planning to work for the government is we can do it and this is a golden opportunity really to be a part of the change and part of having a better and brighter tomorrow for our country. We can do it. Kami ang FPIC Davao at ito ang aming kwentong lingkod bayani. Inyong natunghayan ang kwento ng ating lingkod bayani. Kung ikaw ay may kilalang lingkod bayani, mari siyang inominate sa Honor Awards Program ng Civil Service Commission. For nomination procedures, go to www.csc.gov.ph. See you on the next episode of Lingkod Bayan Diaries.